scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. A king, listen carefully, and there is a kingdom. This kingdom that we so preach about, this kingdom, that we so boast about is not a church theory no this God that we talk about is not a man of God's sermon no it says when I came to you hold on who is Biodun? I'm hearing a name Biodun. who is Biodun? Biodun. is there someone with such a name I'm hearing Biodun. You are wearing a suit with a shirt like ash, no tie. This is what I'm seeing. Is there a gentleman like that? A black suit with no tie. Is there someone like that? What's your name? Please, is the mic working? Help us. Not everybody fakes power. There are people who know Jesus Christ. Genuinely. What's your name, sir? Where are you coming from? Come from Idimu. Uh, you are a member of this church? Yes. Sir. Okay, I want to pray for you. You believe in Jesus? Grace. I can imagine that there are many people with the name Grace. But I'm hearing the name Grace would, would not destabilize. Please make sure there's no random. Let's maintain order so that we don't disrupt the service. And those following online, please now is the time to connect from whatever nation following by way of the TV station. There's no limits to what the Holy Spirit can do. Praise the name of the Lord. So the Bible says, the woman wearing blue, my dear, lift your hands. I'm seeing oil coming on your head right now. Bring her out. You are the covenant keeping God. Oh, you are the covenant keeping God. Oh, Lord, you are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Hallelujah. What do you do my friend what do you do sir i'm an electrician electrician i want to pray for you you believe that god lifts three months from now go and write it your life will change in a way that you will never forget this conference i speak to you by the spirit of god i stretch my hands towards you listen to me my friend look at me Remember once upon a time in the land of Samaria, a prophet came and said, by this time tomorrow, and a foolish man said, even if God will open the heavens, uh -uh. and he said, you will see it just to witness that God does not lie, but you will not partake of it. Remember the Bible says, there remaineth a rest for the people of God. It says, today if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart like they did in the provocation in the wilderness. 
they limited God by saying can God make a way can God make a way this lady my dear in the name of Jesus the yoke of witchcraft I curse it now from your life and from your family for it is written blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us the Bible declares that he nailed it to his cross he nailed it to his cross the victory of Jesus is complete the victory of Jesus is a fact but it remains theory until there is faith and understanding that translates that reality here and now my friend you go back rejoicing in the name of Jesus the Christ of God hallelujah one two three four five years you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb five years who is that please don't be embarrassed I will pray generally now make sure it is five years exactly one two three four five the Lord is showing me this who is that don't be embarrassed my dear no this is this is more than five years I'm saying no it's not just five years how many years Are you married? Please make sure you are married. Okay, hold on. I want to pray for you. Mama, you, are you standing for yourself? I'm seeing your daughter. What's her name? I want to pray for you. Hold on, madam. Don't worry. I will pray for you. Is your daughter here? England. Huh? She's Hold in on. England. She's in England. She's a medical doctor. Medical doctor. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 years. How many years? 16 years. 16 years, barren. I want to pray for you. Madam, please give this woman the mic. Are you the one trusting God for the fruit of the 18 womb? years, yes, sir. One, three. 18. Or 18. One day. You, yes, 18. Yes, Do you believe in Jesus? Yes. You see, let me tell you this. Before you believe a man, don't just find out about God. Find out about the man too. You know, the Bible says it is sin to minister above your level of grace. It says to minister according to the level of grace. I want to pray for you. Jesus is Lord. And here at Calvary Bible Church, you will never forget that God himself brought this opportunity for your lifting, for your rising. This is the Jesus that we present to the nations. The one who can heal, the one who can bless. My dear, don't be embarrassed what I want. What's your name? Florence. Florence. Yes, sir. Don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for you. Yes, I'm seeing a lot of miscarriages. How many? Nine. Nine. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over these people standing. Help her. The power of God is coming on her. Ah. There is nothing you cannot do. Jesus Christ please just make contact with your stomach as a prophetic point of contact in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God I join my faith with the angel over this house and in Jesus name I prophesy to you who are standing here according to the time of life 
in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God return with miracle children look what is happening to this woman out of her now in the name of Jesus out of her now in the name of Jesus I release every chain that holds anyone here in the name of Jesus whether you're standing in for yourself you're standing in for your children in Jesus name the Christ of God return with testimonies please return back to your seat rejoicing God bless you so that we can hurry up my friend look at me what's your name who is who is Christian what's your name Huh? Christian Godwin. Uh -huh, I'm hearing Christian. I want to pray for you. What do you do? You are you are a man of God in this in this assembly. Ah, I hope you are not embarrassed. Ah, huh? that's not the issue. Just 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 calm down and listen to what I'll tell you. Huh? I want to pray for you. It's true you are serving the Lord, but there are attacks in your life. Oh. You need to be prayed for. Huh? God brought you to this conference. Leave the shop, man of God. Let God deal with your situation. Now you can go and preach. You understand? He will use you greatly, truly. But there's a lot of learning for you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Everything that does not name the name of Christ in and around your life, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, let it be gone right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i don't know how we'll do this now but i'm saying the lord is asking me to rebuke delay now listen please you know that the spirit of delay is at work in your life when the only thing that goes forward is your age the only thing help them please help that man the only thing that moves forward is your age. It says the Spirit of God is upon me. I want to pray for you. Now, please listen. Let's just work with these instructions as much as possible. We can use these aisles. Don't come near where the ministers are seated. Let's just honor the man of God. But I want to pray for you. The power of God will come on a few of you. Please, whether you are an usher or not, do well to help them so they don't injure themselves. Right now, I stretch my hands. Here at Calvary Bible Church, no, 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 no. Please go back, go back. Please go back. I'm not saying you should come out. The power of God will bring them out by themselves. You just go back. In the name of Jesus Christ, everyone under the sound of my voice, please return back. Who is a victim of delay? Right now, as I pray, the power of God will come on you. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three. One, two, three. Take that grace. Bring them out. Bring them out. Help them, please bring them out. Hold that lady, let her not injure herself. I cause delay. You are a spirit here at this global kingdom conference. We stand in the name of Jesus, sitting on the destinies of men. Every spirit, help this woman, help this woman behind the man of God, please. Delay, go, delay, go, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I cause delay in the name of Jesus. I cause delay from your life, from your habitation. I cause delay here at this global conference. The king is here. The kingdom is here. There is power in the name of Jesus. 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 To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Open your mouth in one minute and
and cause every delay i release myself now in the name of jesus are you praying you came to church to pray this is a conference for your lifting lift your voice and pray under this corporate anointing every delay help them that will not let me go in the name of jesus i decree and declare liberty by the spirit Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please listen. My goodness. Anyone here experiencing delay? That people are moving forward but your destiny is staying in one place birthday after birthday I stand in the name of Jesus in partnership with the grace upon your man of God by prophecy I push you to the next level I push you to the next level I shake Jesus name now listen to me please I understand there are many people in this assembly who are entrepreneurs business people I want to pray for you you see there is a grace for visibility it is one thing to have products and services that are needed and useful it is one thing to package those products in a superior way is one thing to have the ability to serve it to a targeted consumer base but you need the grace that makes for visibility in Acts chapter 12 the Bible says Peter was bound hand and feet and there were about eight soldiers locking him in the prison listen carefully Acts chapter 12 then the Bible says when the angel came the chains fell off and it reveals there a mystery he says that he went through the first gate he was out of the prison but he was still not safe he went to the second gate then the bible makes an instructive statement that he came to the iron gate that opens up to the city there is a gate that opens up to the city listen carefully when that gate is open all you see is the city is a gate that controls visibility it is the iron gate you can have products and services you are not in prison but the city does not know you are there the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder are you ready to receive in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god the grace that makes for visibility you don't have to bring them under the anointing because of space but i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus I'm seeing the number 31, 31. In the name of Jesus, everyone here who has what it takes for the world to celebrate you, everyone here, dreams and visions, Sabadakata, help them. Products and services, you have labored, you've been well mentored by your man of God. He has taught you the ethics of business, but something is covering your visibility by this grace. In the name of Jesus, take that anointing. I command the city to hear you. Lagos, hear them. Lagos, hear them. Lagos, hear them. Southwest, hear them. Nigeria, hear them. please pay attention we are still praying can I pray for restoration there is a grace that restores son of man he said can this 
bones live again hear me every time there were losses in the bible of any kind it was the office of the prophetic to bring restoration any kind whether it was the axe head or the wives of the sons of the prophets alas master for it was borrowed it is the office of the prophetic to speak restoration he said they are taken for a prey and none say it restore you can lose things but when you lose time you really lost but in the economy of God he can restore things and he can restore time listen to me there are people by the normal sequence of life you should not be at this level things happen in your life restoration is not progress restoration is beyond progress if you have been impeded by life once that constraint leaves you and you move forward that's not restoration that's progress restoration is God picking you and placing you where you would have been if that challenge were not there do you believe this please believe please believe please believe I want to declare restoration you will marvel and wonder at what happens to you at this prayer in the name of Jesus I call upon the God of my covenant for everyone here who is trusting God for any kind of restoration every destiny helper that must be used in this season to bring about a restoration I provoke their ministry over your life I provoke I provoke their ministry over your life hallelujah praise the name of the Lord we have a few minutes let me pray for the sick God is a God that heals I have been a victim of sickness myself I know what sickness can do I have seen the healing power of God myself I know healing is real there are men and women here following by TV internet and here in our local environment you are trusting God for miracles healing miracles listen to me Jesus heals his power heals lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle I want to pray for you right now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest spirit of the sovereign Lord come and make your presence known reveal the glory of the Lord. you're the spirit of the sovereign Lord come and make your presence known reveal the glory of the Let the weight of your glory let it fall on us. Let the light of your river flow. Let the truth of your kingdom let it reign in us. Let the weight of your glory. Please hear me. I know that we have a few minutes, but now listen, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to pray for you, some of you already, by coming out here and all the things that happened, miracles have happened to you already. But here's what will happen. Please listen carefully. We'll still steal out a few minutes. We're going to pray. And as I rebuke that devil, I want you to expect real provable miracles. And the moment that happens, even if it's in five minutes, I'm going to ask you, the moment you find out the power of God has touched you, 
and you confirm that there is a miracle if we can have just one or two pastors just one or two of them i want those people to just rush and come and stand even if it's just two or three we take to validate the power and the grace of jesus at work and then also at work in this assembly and in this commission is that fine are we together please lay your hands i want to pray I don't know why God does this it is a sign and a wonder but there's going to be a loud shout after that shout the healing power of God will begin to flow and I will pray I, I need to explain this because sometimes you see the way God works with us is really very mysterious why he does it sometimes a loud shout the power of God just comes upon a lady a loud shout sometimes I really don't know why that happens but I believe that is a sign and a wonder. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Praise the name of the Lord. The moment that shout happens, then I'll begin to minister to the sick. But you lay your hands right now. I want to pray for you. This is a supernatural power of God. My God, there's such a strong anointing. Such a strong anointing in this place. You're already receiving, but this is instruction God gives me. The power of God will come upon someone, a lady. So now we begin to pray. Please agree with me. In the name of Jesus. 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 Now, every devil that is back of any infirmity in the name of Jesus I command that your power is broken now let God's people go free now in the name of Jesus Christ now I declare be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name my God just help those under the anointing be healed in Jesus name from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name the power of God is going through your body now help them please help them be healed in Jesus name blind eyes be open now partial complete blindness be open now there are some people having pain pain at the back side your lumbar vertebra be healed the power of God is touching you right now every kind of bone condition you're here you're on crutches you're on a wheelchair you don't have to bring them out you don't have to bring those under the anointing out there's no space because some other people will come you're on a wheelchair you're on crutches right now I declare in the name of Jesus stand up stand up and lift your crutch and walk in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus every blood condition every genotype issue we change it now HIV be healed now cancer be healed now the Lord is ministering to me you don't have to come out there are a number of ladies with multiple lumps around your breast area the power of God is touching you right now after this prayer you'll check it you will not find it again in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a I don't know if it's a, there's a there's a gentleman you have what looks like a swelling at the back of your neck after this prayer you check it right now you'll find out that it's gone completely in the name of Jesus every blood condition goes right now migraine headache very severe pounding migraine headache the Lord is healing you right now I'm seeing someone you have this recurrent pattern it's like every month you have to treat typhoid or malaria every month no matter how well you treat it it still comes back the power of God is touching you right now 
I'm seeing three people. The Lord is healing them from pile. In fact, for one of you, it's a very severe issue. You cannot even go to the toilet because of how inconveniencing it is and because of the excruciating pain. We come in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let there be healing for you. I see some of you lifting photos of your loved ones, lifting the pictures of your loved ones wherever they are. And those of you following by way of TV, following online, in the name of Jesus here at Calvary Bible Church, we decree and declare the healing power of Jesus leaves this altar right to your homes, to your offices. In the name of Jesus, your homes, your offices, your devices, let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, your, your, this is my right, your right ear. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.